Hello, I am Mr. Bartlett and I'm recording this video to teach you how to use the student server. Please bear with me as I've never created a file like this before and uh, I'm kind of learning how to do this myself, so appreciate working with me. Student server is something that I created uh, a couple years ago. It's uh, something that a place where the students can keep their files at. Um, basically, uh, I had a lot of students that were trying to use floppy disks and the floppy disks were uh, not very good for keeping files. They're real easy to damage a floppy disk. Uh, I looked into a couple different options and I found this one I liked quite a bit. Basically it boils down to it's a place where you can keep your files on the network secure and safe uh, and not have to worry about using a, a floppy disk or a flash drive which is kinda nice to be able to have. How you use the student server? First thing you need to do is you need to look on the desktop of the computer look for the name student server most of the computers out there I have put links onto uh, you'll double click on that link it'll pull up the you know asking for the username and password if you do not have that link then you need to go ahead and go to start run like you see me doing right here you're gonna type slash slash st server slash now this is the slash that's located on most keyboards above the enter key it's the slash that goes downhill if you use the wrong slash it won't work you'll click on OK and you can see it also asks for the username and password same uh, same place same way to, uh, just a different way to get there uh, just a thought you see this button that says remember that my password you do not want to check that we'll talk about that later on why as far as your username is concerned, it's most cases it's your first initial, then your last name, and then your password is a four digit number that I've assigned to everybody. That is a password I can change. If you guys want me to change your password, come ask me and I'll take care of it for you. Then you'll press enter and it opens up the browser. In this browser you can see a couple things going on. First thing we're going to talk about is your home folder. Your home folder's got your same username. You go into the home folder, you've got all the stuff you put there. You may find there's files there that are already there. Those are files that are put there by the program that I use to make the server work for you. You can delete them if you want to. You can leave them alone if you want to. They may not even show up depending on your Windows settings. This home folder is a place where only you can get into. No other student can get into. Uh, students uh everybody has their own home folder uh just a thought teachers can get into your folders they can see what you've got that allows them to grade off of there that allows them to make notes for you guys that you know it just you know provides a lot more features which are kind of nice um you have a file limit the amount of files that you can store there the file limits currently set to 20 megabytes which is something like you know 9,000 pages worth of text uh, you know a lot of pages for doing typed up word documents and stuff if you start working with video or audio files or you know some of those big file hog programs and you're needing more space come talk to me I've got room available I can crank up that number for you but I needed to set a default number for everybody I decided to go with 20 megabytes um, let's look at some of the other folders here you'll see admin students this is something that the teachers are allowed to use it lets the teachers get into the students folders it's not something as a student that you will have access to the learning folder that is a folder that you have access to that's where teachers will put files that they want you to have read access to you cannot change anything that's there so if you guys try to delete something then it won't let you um, I to give you an idea I put a program in there there's a neat little program that I kind of share up with everybody this program is called convert.exe this program converts units so if you wanted to you know convert uh, anything from volume cups to feet or cups to gallons or any 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 basically unit you want to convert this program will do any of them there got some units on here that I've never even heard of uh, density there is oh it's got them all just you know look through there it's got light year on there for gosh sakes but it's a neat little program that I use from time to time thought I might make it available to you guys uh, again the learning folder is a folder where you guys have read access to you're not allowed to change anything uh, teachers 
that is a area where the teachers have access to if one teacher wants to share a file with another teacher then they will put it in that folder as a student you won't be able to get into teachers folder if you were to double click on it it would ask you for it again for username and password then you'll see it says printers and faxes printers and faxes is a feature that I'm not currently using and I don't I don't really know what happens when you double click on it but it, it's not something that's going to be very helpful to you um, some possible thoughts I have this browser window open when you leave the computer closing that browser window does not log you out of the system for example the next student that came along and double clicked on the icon they just got into your stuff you need to make sure that when you leave a computer that you pull the proper log off procedure which is you're going to go to start turn off computer and hit restart in most cases there's a few computers that have other options like log off and stuff restarts by far the best option for you that way when you later come back to or when somebody else comes back to that computer they're not getting into your stuff um, earlier you had that button that you clicked on that said you know keep me logged in that computer if by some chance you accidentally clicked that number next person that comes along even though you rebooted the computer they're getting into your stuff. Uh, a thoughts on that getting into your stuff? Um, of course, you can get in trouble for what's in in your in your home folder. If you're you know you're doing something that's not appropriate for school, we don't want to see that happen. So, you know, please make sure you, you police yourself on logging off of a computer. That way, nobody else is uh, messing with your stuff. Um, some drawbacks to this system: uh, it is right now it's only available at the school here I will tell you that it's probably available over at the elementary school with most computers what I don't have hardly any computers with the bulldog icon that links to the student server setup so you have to do that start run dialog to get it going but since we share a network between the high school and the elementary school you can get to your files there if that's helpful to you um, you cannot get access to this at home. I think I mentioned that earlier. I thank you for watching this video and hopefully you better understand now how to use the student server. The big bullet points here are how to get into it. You'll double click on the icon, type your username and password. You'll know that your home folder is for your stuff only. No other student should have access to your stuff. And please remember when you leave a computer hit that log off button or the, the restart button so that you we can uh, you can protect your stuff in there and keep it all safe uh, hopefully you guys find the student server useful it's something that I'm very proud of I thank you goodbye